A blessed morning, people of God. Today, let me share to you the word of God, which is found in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 4, verse 1, and the following verses. One day, the widow of a member of a group of prophets came to Elisha and cried out, My husband who served you is dead, and you know how he feared the Lord. But now a creditor has come threatening to take my two sons as slaves. What can I do to help you? Elisha asked. Tell me, what do you have in the house? Nothing at all except a flask of olive oil, she replied. And Elisha said, borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and neighbors. Then go into the house with your sons and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one side when it is filled. Verse 5, so she did as she was told. Her son kept bringing jars to her, and she filled one after another. Soon every container was full of the brim. Bring me another jar, she said to her sons. There aren't any more, he told her, and then the olive oil stopped flowing. When she told the man of God what had happened, he said to her, Now sell the olive oil and pay your debts, and you and your sons can live on what is left over. Makikita natin sa kwento na may isang babaeng balo na lubhang nahihirapan at nangangailangan tul ng tulong dahil sa kanyang pagkakautang. Ngunit paano siya makakabayad kung siya nga ay isang balo? Alam naman natin na ang isang balo ay wala nang inaasahan sa buhay. Ayon sa Biblia, sila ang dapat na tinutulungan at pinagtutuunan ng pansin sa lipunan. Sa sitwasyon ng babaeng balo, lubhang napakabigat ng kanyang pinagdadaan ng problema. Namatay na ang kanyang asawa and the worst is, kinukuha pa ang kanyang dalawang anak bilang pambayad sa kanyang mga napagkautangan. Kung susumahin natin, wala nang matitira sa kanya kung kukunin pa ng mayaman ang kanyang dalawang anak. Tanong, paano siya makakabayad sa kanyang mga pagkakautang at paano siya makakaaraw muli sa buhay? This morning, we will talk about on how to rise up again. Have you ever come to a point that you feel like a widowed woman, helpless, and has nothing to do? What are you going to do to rise up and continue living and serving God? What else do you need that God didn't provide? Did you already lack of any good thing from the moment you served the Lord? So here are the things that you must do to rise up again and continue living and serving God. Point number one. Seek help from the right people. If you are at the point of being helpless, lose everything and don't know what to do, the very right thing to do is to ask for assistance. Pero siguraduhin mo na ang nilalapitan mo ay tamang tao. Right people will surely give you right actions. Huwag kang lumapit sa kung kani-kanino. Kapag maling tao ang nilapitan mo, tiyak na mali rin ang bunga nito. The widowed woman knows to whom he will ask for help. He asks from the man of God and that is Elisha. At dahil tama ang nilapitan niya, nalutas ang mga pinagdadaanan niya. Point number two, let the man of God have dominion over your life. Kung nasa puntong walang wala ka na at bagsak na bagsak ka na, ang tanging magagawa mo na lamang ay makinig at sumunod. Like the widow did, she asked for help and follow what the man of God said. Obey what the man of God said and submit whatever direction he will give you. Anong saysay na paghingi mo ng tulong kung hindi ka naman susunod sa ipinapagawa niya sa iyo. Seeking for help is equivalent to seeking for instructions. Hayaan mo pakialaman ng yung man of God ang buhay mo. Kahit gaano pa ka-word ang ipinapagawa niya sa iyo, ang mahalaga, sumunod ka. In verses 2, 3, and 4 says, What can I do to help you? Elisha asked, Tell me what do you have in the house? Nothing at all except a flask of olive oil, she replied. Elisha said, Borrow as many empty jars as you can from your friends and neighbors. Then go into your house with your son and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flask into the jars, setting each one aside when it is filled. Isn't it weird collecting jars from neighbors? Kung nagbabakal bote ka, pwede pa. But the widow's submission to Elisha was immeasurable. She and her two sons obey what the man of God told them. It is just a matter of obedience and submission to see the movement of God over your circumstances. Point number three, have faith and be prepared. Bring jars as many as you can. 
this is the instruction and this is an act of faith. How can a drop of oil can fill up those multiple jars? In verse 5, So she did as she was told her. Her sons kept bringing jars to her, and she filled one after another. Soon every container was full to the brim. Faith can turn your last drop of oil into the most expensive one. Yung inaakala mong huling patak, yun pa ang magsasalba sa'yo. Whatever you need, the Lord can provide. Just have faith. When you ask God to bless you, you must always be prepared. Prepare all the vessels needed for God will pour out so much blessings. God will never stop until you are full. God will never stop until you are so full. So always be hungry and eager to receive more. And for our conclusion, maybe the widow is at the point of losing hope, giving up and surrendering. But because she did the right thing, she and her two sons were spared and saved. In this point of time, maybe you are not a widow or you're not in debt. But somehow, experiencing the same thing that the widow experiences, such as losing someone, losing hope, helpless, don't know what to do, leading to giving up, or some may already give up. It's not yet the end. There is God who is always waiting for you to ask for help, to seek for guidance, and to be willing to be reconciled. And also, there is this man of God who is just waiting for you to make a move and talk with him and let him teach you how to deal with trials in life. The widow's life was recovered not because she did it by herself, but because she seeked for guidance, help, assistance, and direction in life. Let's pray. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us. Thank you for your word that will bring change into our lives. Maraming maraming salamat po for this day na lahat po nang ahawakan po namin ay magpaprosper. Lahat po nang aming gagawin ay inyong pagpapalain. Guide us for the rest of this day. Maraming maraming salamat po. This we ask and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.